What is Contract First API development? Contract First is a popular approach for API development. An API or application programming interface is simply a bit of code that handles the requests and responses between a client and server. To use a common analogy of a restaurant, when you order your food at a restaurant, you select your food from the menu and give the order to the waiter. The waiter goes to the kitchen, gets the order and returns it to you. The waiter rep represents the API, the interface between diner, the client and the kitchen, the server. You could, of course, go directly to the kitchen and get some food. But this requires you have to have a good understanding of how the kitchen works and is certainly not very efficient, particularly if you have lots of diners wanting to eat. Similarly, in software development, a client could be highly integrated into a server. And this was the way many software systems were built in years gone by. But this is not optimal. If a change is needed in one part of the server, it often will require changes in the client too. An API means that the client doesn't need to know anything about the server code, what's going on in the kitchen. As long as the client and server can communicate via the API, changes to the internal workings of the server will affect the server only. The same goes for the client too. What is essential is that there is a clear description of what the server is offering, similar to our restaurant menu. This menu forms the contract between the server and client via the API, so the client knows exactly what is on offer. A traditional approach to API development has been code-first development, where, as it sounds, the API code is written first and then the contract is generated from the code. This was common in SOAP-based web services, where a WSDL provided a machine-readable description of how the service can be called, what parameters it expects, and what data structure it returns. This makes sense. It's like our restaurant kitchen deciding on the menu items and giving them to the waiter to write up the menu. However, software development is not catering. Rather than a code-first approach, contract-first API development has become increasingly popular in recent years. This is where the contract is written first, and then the code is written to meet the contract. Although SOAP-based APIs could use this approach, it is more often used in conjunction with RESTful APIs. The development of the Open API specification for describing RESTful APIs has helped greatly in this. There are many benefits of defining the API first. These include 1. A well-designed API. Thought is put into creating the design from the user perspective before any code is written. 2. Greater flexibility. Having a contract first enables minor tweaks to be made to the API implementation without having to generate a new contract each time. 3. User feedback. The client UI can be developed against the API design before the API server code is complete, providing confirmation of user needs quickly. 4. Independent development. Agreeing the contract up front allows developers, possibly in different teams, to work on the client and server code independently. 5. Greater collaboration. An agreed contract provides transparency and allows multiple developers to collaborate. 6. Better communication. Code-first generated contracts tend towards being readable by machines only. Contract-first contracts are typically written to be human readable and therefore improve communication.